Osteosarcoma is the most common primary of tumor of bone that mostly affects children and young adults. Patients will usually present uh, with pain and a mass in one of their extremities. Osteosarcoma typically happens in the long bones, although it can happen in any bone in the body, including the pelvis. The most common things other than pain and a mass are night pain. It is important to diagnose osteosarcoma early so that treatment can be initiated as quickly as possible and potentially prevent the spread of the cancer. After we establish the diagnosis of osteosarcoma, we immediately begin chemotherapy. And that is typically under the care of a pediatric oncologist or an adult medical oncologist. After about 10 weeks of so-called induction chemotherapy, the patient will have complete surgical removal of the tumor and reconstruction, uh, and that's my job. After the patient is healed from their surgery, typically about two weeks, then they go back and have additional chemotherapy. My laboratory focuses on metastatic potential. What that means is how does a cell make the difficult journey from a tumor in your shin bone through your bloodstream into the lung to start growing new tumors in the lung. We also have an exciting tool called the Musculoskeletal Oncology Tumor Registry and Tissue Bank. This is a database by which we can follow patients throughout the entire course of their care. Additionally, I'm able to harvest some of the patient's sarcoma tissue to use in my laboratory for uh, these scientific studies that I mentioned to understand metastatic potential. So we try to look at the problem through all sorts of different avenues and use every scrap of data we can to provide meaningful research to the patient and to all patients. The UPMC Sarcoma Specialty Care Center is a way that patients' care is coordinated through a multidisciplinary clinic of a number of sarcoma experts. Osteosarcoma, while it is a very serious diagnosis, is both treatable and curable.